Okay guys, doing an upgrade here to the Mac Mini. This is 2012 i5 model, the base model. Um, I have a OWC 120GB, this is SATA 2 uh, SSD. And I also have 16 gigs of crucial RAM. Um, so we'll do the upgrade here. Uh, first things first, you know this may void your warranty if you do damage something while you're opening it. Uh, you can damage parts. Um, you have to be very careful when you're doing this. Uh, don't pry if it's not coming up and don't do other stuff like that. You know, Don't do stupid stuff. Just think about it before you do it. Uh, you're going to need several tools. You're going to need a T6, a T8, that's Torx, and then a hex I believe it's called. Uh, mine says hex 2, but yours could be a different hex size. Um, just look it up. Uh, you're also going to need a pry tool. For this, I'm just using a metal flathead. Uh, that's what came with my screwdriver. You can use whatever you want. Um, some type of business card also comes in handy when you're putting in the new drive. And of course, you know, I got my screwdriver. Um, you want to lay out your screws uh, where you can and make sure that you don't lose any. First things first, take off the back, match up the hole, um, the, the dot with the open. You just turn it. And then the back pops right off. Um, oh, here's a screw already out. That screw goes right here. It's already out though. Here's your back plate. Set it off to the side. Uh, first of all, you're going to want to take off, take out your memory. Uh, we're going to do the memory upgrade, so we're already taking out the memory. This is the easiest part. If you need to do a memory upgrade, all you do, you pop these two little tabs right here, pop them inside. This will pop up and you pull out. Same thing for the bottom one. You're just going to pull the tabs until it comes all the way up as far as it can and then just pull straight out. There's your old memory. To put in your new memory, do the same thing backwards. You take the memory, line it up at the bottom. You're going to want to do about a 45 degree angle. Once, it, once you can't see any of the more gold contacts at the bottom, just push straight down. And do the same thing for the top. And then you just put back on the bottom. Uh, since we are doing a hard drive upgrade in this one, uh, you're going to need your T6 first. This screw, this screw, and this screw or T6. This screw right here that I'm unscrewing right now is attached to the fan. These two are not. So you can pull that out there, just set it to the side. Make sure you keep track of them. It's pretty hard to get confused which screws go where. Um, you can just rewatch the video. Pretty simple. Now be careful when you're pulling this up. There is a fan connector right here uh, in between the metal grate and the fan. Just flip this fan over like so. Um, this is where I use my metal tool. Be very careful with this because once you damage this, you can't go back. It's directly on the motherboard. So you just want to kind of pop it up and out. I'll give you a look here real quick. See if I can zoom, focus in. You see the little thing that just goes right in here on the mother on the motherboard. I'll zoom in a little bit. All right. Um, so it just goes right in here on the motherboard. Um, very simple. There's your fan. Set it to the side. Next, uh, we're going to take out this little plate right here. This is all, also a T6. There's one screw right here holding it down. Right next to the fan exhaust. Take out that one screw. Set it to the side. This grate just kind of pulls out now. Just kind of want to be careful. There's of course, your motherboard and everything is right under there. Just pull it right out. Very simple. Next, you have five screws. You have the hex two, one, two, and three. And then you have two T8, one and two. Uh, some sites recommend that you can use your T8 on these. I would not recommend it. Just go buy a um, set. I bought this set right here. Five bucks at Home Depot has everything you need. So this is the hex 2, and remember one of these screws already fell out when I opened it up. So there's three of them. There's the second one. The third one would have been right here, but it's already out. 
Now we need our T8, and that's these two screws right here. So there's those screws. Now that's all the screws you need to take out from this. Um, this grate pops out, so just be careful on this side. There is an antenna connection. So what I do, I kind of lift up and pull out a little bit. Now, a lot of sites tell you to disconnect this antenna. You don't need to. It's just an extra step that I don't think you really need to. Just be careful with it. Uh, don't pull on it or anything. Here is your hard drive. There is one connection right here. Now, I do pick this up with my nail. It's good to use a plastic tool here, but you know I work on computers a lot, so just be careful. Now, your hard drive just kind of lifts up, and it pulls out. Now on your hard drives, there's some things you're going to need to switch over to the new one. These two pins, you're going to make sure you put them in the right side because this is what your hard drive sits in when it sits into your Mac Mini. And then the SATA connection. There is a little black tape right here. You're just going to take this off. Now, I suggest putting this on the new drive as well. That way you, uh, you don't lose it. There's a little connection. I'm just going to set to the side. Now this is a T8 screws. So in the side here, you're just going to screw these two. They're pretty much just holder pins, I think they call them, something like that. Just, you know, just to hold the, in the, uh, the hard drive. Now your old hard drive, you can just set that to the side. We don't need that anymore. Take out your new hard drive or SSD, which I, if you are upgrading, if your hard drive goes, does go out, I recommend just buying an SSD. You'll be happier with it. Um, one thing to note is... This is pretty, a lot thicker than, than, the, and than the standard hard drive. It will still fit, but you will have some problems getting it in there. Now what you're going to do, you're going to take that SATA connection and put that back on there. You're going to make sure you line up the two sides that are supposed to be lined up. The small with the small and the big with the big. Um, here's that piece of tape. I just put that right on there. It kind of holds the the connection in there. Now you're gonna go ahead and line it up so you know which side the pins go on. Uh, they go on this side, so the connect connection comes out here and connects to your motherboard. If you're doing a dual uh, dual hard drive, this is where your other SATA connection is. And don't do that. Let me find my screw real quick. There it is. There we are. So again, here's the screw. I like to start off with my hand if I can. Get the other one. Try not to drop your screws on your computer. You might, it might they might be kind of hard to find. There we go. Just take your T8, screw them all the way in. And this is where that business card's going to come in handy after this, uh, when we try to put this drive back in. Because it's pretty hard to get sh get in there. So what you're going to do, see if I can get this on camera. Um, you see this... There's a little gap in there when you look inside. You're going to see it. You're going to put that credit card or the business card right in that gap. And then you're just going to line up your drive, slip it in. And then be careful around this right here. Uh, it should slip in the first time usually pretty good. Once you push down about right here and it doesn't go anywhere, that means you're in the holes that you need to be in on this on the inside here. So now mine's fully in, it's not moving at all. I can lift it up a little bit, take out that card. Now you need to reconnect the SATA connection. Once that's reconnected, you can push on your drive a little bit, make sure it's in there pretty good. All right, so now it's in there. You're gonna wanna go ahead and go backwards now. So we're just gonna move the crate. 
or the great, sorry, back in here. I just want to make sure everything lines up here. So once everything snaps and back into place, you can go ahead and work backwards. So putting your screws in. It doesn't really matter which ones you put in first, I just do the T8s. And these ones screw right into the bottom of your hard drive, I believe. So it'll hold your hard drive up. This cable will come loose probably throughout the install. This is your SATA connection. Just make sure it stays connected before you completely put back the, the mini back together. If it doesn't, you can still take out the fan and the and the uh, the shield right here to plug it back in. Just make sure those are nice. Don't tighten these too tight because you might have to retake this back apart to put back in put back in your original hard drive if you ever have problems and you need to go to Apple. Um, your hard drive is not a user replaceable item so you will have to re reinstall your hard drive. That is a good note for anyone to practice. If, you, if your Mac Mini is still under warranty or if you're planning buying Apple Care, be careful. Um, you don't want to void your warranty. Uh, technically this is voiding your warranty but if you do it right you won't have any problems and they won't be able to tell. So now once you have these two T8 screws and these three H2 screws, you can go ahead and slide this back in. I like doing it just like this. Make sure it sits into place and it shouldn't move once it sits into place. It has one screw, which is a T6 screw. Another good note, you might want to buy a magnetizer for your screwdrivers so that way you can magnetize all the tips you're going to use. That will help you put the screws back in the holes without dropping them in the computer. Next thing, the fan. As I was telling you about that little connector, I can't really show this on camera, but the way I do it, I get my screwdriver. I kind of line it up. Once I feel I'm lined up pretty good, I kind of just apply a little bit of pressure and it should just snap right in. If it doesn't snap right in with a little bit of pressure, do not force it. You do. This is one thing that you do not want to mess with on your motherboard because once this is gone, you just ruined your warranty, plus you've also ruined your Mac because without a fan, you're, it's not going to be able to cool itself. This fan just kind of sits back in there. Uh, it's T6 as well, so just go ahead and start tightening it down. I never tighten down the screws all the way if it has multiple screws because I want to make sure they fit. I want to give it a little bit of leeway. And let's go back to the original one and tighten it down. Just kind of give them a little tight, you know, not too much. So now you're done with the really hard part. Now we'll do the memory upgrade. Again, this is the 16 gigabyte crucial memory. It's pretty much, this is the two gigabyte stick that came out of it. And this is the 16 gig right here. So they're made by the same people. Um, very easy, just pop them out. You're gonna line up the slots. So you can see the pins right there and the pins right here. You're just gonna line those up. Put it in the bottom slot first. 45 degree angle, roughly. Once you can't see any of the more of the gold, just push down. You're gonna do that with the same with the next module. Don't be afraid to use a little force on these. Sometimes they go in right away, sometimes they don't. Just make sure you're good. Pop it down. You're done with that. Now all's left is just put back on the back plate. Line up the dot on the black with the open dot, and then turn, make sure it's locked in, and you're good to go. That's the upgrade for the Mac Mini. That is your RAM upgrade, plus that is your SSD install. In the future, I'll be doing a video on how to have, to put an extra hard drive or solid state drive in your Mac Mini. Um, you can make a fusion drive with that, you can have two separate drives, you can have backup drive, there's so many different things you can do. Uh, it's going to be a little more labor intensive because you do have to move the motherboard out. Other than that though,
Have a good night.